Hey guys, Delman here with uh, another video, and I wanted to make this video a while ago. Sorry if you can hear sirens in the background, it's just where I live right now. But yeah, anyway, what I wanted to tell you guys, basically this is more of a behind the scenes thing of what the hell happened and where have I gone and why am I currently not here. <laughs> so um, basically guys, this is going to give you a heads up of what's happened, what's going to be happening, and uh, what's basically been kicking behind the scenes. Okay, so first off, one um, couple of video go, uh, videos ago, you may have noticed I really wasn't well. Now, I had a, a virus, I thought it was just flu or something, and I just carried on with it as usual. But um, it proceeded to get worse and worse and worse, and to the point where I was like just uncontrollably like vomiting nonstop, and I had to go to the hospital. Anyway, I got some antibiotics, and as I was on this course of antibiotics, I thought, okay, this would be it, you know, like no big deal, I can go back to uh, videos now. Now, for those of you who don't know, I have one living relative. That's one living relative left. I don't have no cousins, no brothers, nothing like that, nothing left. It's just me and that one person. Now, my last living relative has recently, you know, has, has cancer at the minute and has stage 3 cancer. And I was told by the doctors that this was her last summer. So I've, I've and it was her last, you know, like, it's her last year, basically. So I've been trying to make this year as special as I can. And um, it's it's pretty difficult. I'm not gonna not gonna beat around the bush. It is pretty tricky. And um, recently, that person was moved to recess. Um, it basically recess ward, like on the hospital. It's pretty serious. So I had to drop everything I was doing, and basically focus my attention where it really is needed. Um, thankfully, um, that person is now no longer on recess and um, is actually going to be you know, in and out of hospital, coming home, going back and whatnot over the next few weeks. And um, it is pretty difficult and uh, it is pretty tricky because this is the last person I have left um, blood related wise. Now, there's an old saying, family doesn't have to be blood related. And I have a lot of close friends that I refer to as family. Unfortunately for me, <laughs> it depends. I have a handful of friends that I know in terms of you know everyday kind of face to face kind of thing and there are some of there's very few of those people that I would really truly call family and then I have a whole bunch of other guys who I thankfully met through funnily enough the old computer here through Star Citizen itself that I refer to as family and a couple of other people I knew from before that that I would definitely call family as well so you know family is not necessarily blood related and this is turning into an episode of Mr. Rogers as I ramble on but basically what I wanted to say is I have been pretty occupied lately with stuff outside of uh, sources and it's kept me pretty busy with being sick and then having to deal with that stuff um, and then having to look after my last living relative which is yeah it's it's not easy it's not an easy thing to to go through to bear with, if you're going to be knowing that that's the last person you have left, and you try in every moment to try and make each day special, it's it's a hard pill to swallow to keep a brave face, so to speak. But um, for those of you out there who know what I'm talking about, who are dealing with this or have dealt with this, I just want to say, you know, I commend you because it's not easy, and um, it's it's never easy in life. But yeah, guys, um, back to. Or the, chan the channel news, so to speak. So with the channel, guys, I have a whole bunch of stuff planned. I even had, um, I still have a couple more videos to wrap up for my Star Citizen Beginner's Guide, kind of, you know, what ship is right for you kind of beginner series. I got a couple more manufacturers to go through to wrap that series up. I also have a couple of other series planned. One is more focused around uh, Star Citizen itself in terms of I want to do a full documentary on Star Citizen, talk to people who got into the project, what their opinions are, like go way back to the very early days of the project and the precursor kind of era and really talk about that kind of stuff. I really want to do an in-depth documentary about Star Citizen that's done from a, like, you know, a not, like, it's not going to be like, I've, I've seen a couple of other documentaries done out there and it honestly feels like those documentaries were made by people that are very negative towards Star Citizen to the point where it becomes this hate speech. And I find that pretty disappointing because in order to look at Star Citizen, you have to look at it from a, um, a completely neutral standpoint. And for me, that's hard. I'm very passionate about the project. I absolutely love the project. But 
I have to take off the rose tinted glasses and um, really look at it from an objective point of view. Now, there's going to be good parts and bad parts. Now, it's going to be completely neutral. However, Star Citizen itself, to this day, right now, is the most ambitious and most successful crowdfunded project there is. Like, straight up. There has never been anything more successful than this po at this point through Kickstarter. In terms of, like, Kickstarter games and other things like that. Star Citizen is unique because it's not finished yet. It's a long way from being finished. And to make something like this takes a lot of work and a lot of people. Now, Star Citizen, when it started, I had a handful of guys basically working out of a basement in terms of scale compared to what it is becoming. And it is slowly growing to become huge. Like, the amount of people they now have on board making this game is massive. Um, when you look at a game like Star Citizen, what is promised, you're looking at something that is expected of a company like Rockstar Games or EA. Not a private, you know, like kind of crowdfunded company that's come out of nowhere, because that's what it is. And Star Citizen is proving to be something that is able to basically keep up, so to speak, with all these other huge companies producing something that is truly going to be very special. Now, there will be other games that come and go, like the next Grand Theft Auto, maybe Grand Theft Auto 6, and there'll be other, like, you know, Battlefield games, and there'll be other... Like, other games like that, fair enough. But Star Citizen is not just a game. It's designed to be a simulation of what the future will be like, in terms of, it's a game where you can sit down, plug in, and plug out, if you get what I mean, of life. Where you just basically live in this far sci-fi future adventure, where you live through the eyes of your character in a first-person universe. That's really what it is. It's not a game for the faint of heart, I'm going to say it now. It's not a game necessarily for the people who are more casual. Star Citizen is definitely a game that's going to be very heavily invested time-wise. And, you know, in terms of... It'll have a lot of role-play elements to it. And I understand not everybody wants that. But Star Citizen is one of those games that will require that. You can't just go through the game without giving a damn about, you know, your components and stuff. And play it like an arcade game. Because that's going to really come unstuck relatively quickly. So, I'm going to be doing a documentary on that, and really going into depth of how the project has evolved from what it was originally started as, and where this project idea even came from, and all that good stuff, all the way to the end of the road of what's planned and what's going on right now with the project up to the, to the nearest point. So that's one of the playlists I, want, I plan on making. I plan on also going back to my ship series where I do an in-depth video on every single ship in the game. Now, as you guys know, I was doing Aegis Dynamics last time. So I'm going to be moving over, um, taking a break from Aegis, and I'm going to be going over to Drake, and then I'll be going back over to some other Aegis ships, and then I'll be going over to some of the other manufacturers. But I want to go in-depth on every single ship in the game. Alright guys, so basically that's a quick heads up of what's planned. I've got a whole bunch of other video series planned where I want to talk to you guys, the community, where you guys will be able to post questions. I will try to answer those questions in a video and all that good stuff and your ideas and whatnot. So yeah, guys, that's basically what's planned. However, I'm going to be pretty goddamn busy outside of uh, PC with some serious life stuff for the next couple of months. So I'm gonna be having to put a pause on my content until after July. So to give you guys a heads up, I'm not gonna be able to produce nearly any videos until after July. I'm gonna be making the videos in my spare time between now and then, so after July is when you'll start to see these videos going live. But until then, the channel will be going dark just for a little while. And yeah, so I, I really appreciate, first off I just wanna say, I really appreciate all the support you guys have given me and coming back to talk to me and whatnot. I'm sorry I haven't been, like, you know, able to respond to as many comments as I would like to, and that's what I'm gonna be trying to do today. But I just want to say thank you to every single one of you for supporting me and coming back and talking to me and watching the videos. It's been a hell of a ride and I hope I can keep it going. Um, I plan to. And after July is when um, you're going to see the channel kick back into action. And yeah, god damn it's too hot. <laughs> I'm just going to say it now. It is too hot. For you guys who don't know where I am right now, I am in the middle of London. And I do not handle heat well. So it's one of those things. It is absolutely boiling here. No fans, no nothing. My fan broke down and my PC here is emitting so much heat I feel like I'm sitting next to a reactor. So yeah guys, as you can hear the sirens probably outside, 
I'm not exactly in the nice end of London. So, <laughs> I'm not even kidding when I say this. There is literally destroyed cars on my street. And every now and again, you see the odd needles here and there on the, uh, the stairwell. So, <laughs> to give you guys a quick breakdown of what's going on is I will be back. Um, and I will be continue to making videos, but I'm going to be putting a pause on it until after July. So, you know the drill, commanders. Fly safe, and I'll see you in the verse.